Hi everyone. In the, in today's session, we are going to be talking on app building a prototype network. And mainly the, the software we are going to be using is the pop art software. All other softwares we are, we are going to be using in this session would the link to downloading those um, files will be provided in the caption um, section. So this is the pop art um, software. In order to build this um, the network, you will essentially need two files. You need the alignment file and the traits file. So let's build these files. We have our sequences here. We have 12 sequences in all. In order to add more sequences, provided you need to you needed to add more sequences, you simply need to copy your sequence. Once the sequence is copied from the source, then you can come and import here. But for this example, we are simply going to be using 12 sequences. So once you have the next thing we want to do is we want to run a multiple sequence alignment. We are going to be using the molecular evolutionary genetic analysis and software, one more like the mega software. So we come to file, open the file, then we select the sequence, which is our file name. It will bring this option align or analyze. We'll select align. So well we have this our uh, sequences have been imported into the mega platform. Then we want to the next thing we'll do is we'll select all. We'll come to this edit option, then we'll select all. After selecting all, we'll come to this. We are going to be using a module algorithm to run the multiple sequence alignment. So we'll select module and we'll align our samples or we'll align our sequences. Is press OK. So once our sequence has been aligned. The next thing we want to do is to export this aligned sequence. So we come to data option, then we export data. We we'll export the data as Nexus format. So we can save this data as aligned sequence. We are saving it on the desktop. Save. So once you're done with that, you can close the mega software and also the bow edit. So this is our saved aligned sequence. The next thing we want to do is to build the apple type data file. And to do that, we use DNA sequencing polymorphism software. This is the software. Again, the link to downloading the software will be provided in the caption. So we we'll select file, then we we'll select open data file. We we'll come to all data files. We we'll select all files. Then we we'll select align sequence dot nexus. More like the align sequence. Once you select that, you open the file. This is a generalized information about our sequence, largely. Then we'll close the data. Then we'll come to data, select format. The basic information about our data is our sequence. The sequence we are using as an example is a mitochondria cytochrome oxidase subunit so one um, sequence. So the sequence is the mitochondria part and it's haploid. So select mitochondria, haploid, and OK. The next thing we might want to do is to assign genetic code. If you're sure of the source of your sequence, it fits from a drosophila organism, yeast, flatworm, you can select that. But for this example, we'll be using the nuclear universal. Once you are done with that, then we'll assign a divine sequence set. So let's assume now we have we have 12 sequences like we said finish from initially. So H1, let's assume H1 to H5 is from say 
another uh, location let's say kenya we can after selecting and we press this of this forward sign here we can add the sequence you say kenya okay the next thing we want to do is we are signed for the other location let's assume this location is from this sequence is from nigeria and let's assume from 10 to 12 is from say ghana so we have kenya to from h1 to h5 nigeria from h6 to h9 and ghana from h10 to h12 once we have we confirmed that we update all our entry the next thing we want to do is to generate the haplotype file we come to this generate option this haplotype data file we select that on this platform we have we select included and press ok it will ask you to give an option for you to save the upload type data file. So we can save this as upload type data file. Then we press again. You're saving it on the desktop. Select save. Once you are done with that, we can close the DNS sp software so the next thing we want to do essentially is to copy the file to which we need to create our traits our traits file so we open your the appetite data file you just see then you open it with notepad the next thing after opening it you will see this um the first option here will be the list of the haplotype, the haplotype, the number of um, sequences present present in each of the haplotype. Then we have um, a more breakdown of the of the content of each of the haplotypes. But the one you would really need to copy essentially is the list, the one that has the list, the frequency of the haplotype, and the sequences, the name of the sequences. So we'll copy that. Once we copy that by simply pressing Ctrl C, or we'll right click and copy. We'll go to our Excel sheets, then we paste the file. So we have the, this file pasted. The next thing we need to do is to create a table. App underscore one. So far, we have seven haplotypes. We'll drag it to make sure it's seven. Then the first location is Kenya. Second is Nigeria. And third is Ghana. So recall that we said Kenya has this, the sequence of H1 to H5. So H1 and H4 is assigned to, is under Kenya for each appetite, each one. So we put two here. H8 to H9 is under Nigeria because H6, we've already assigned that H6 to H9 is Nigeria. And Ghana is um, 10 to 12, so 2. H2, which is under appetite 2, is H2, which is Kenya. H3 is Kenya. H5 is H5 is Kenya. H6 is Nigeria. H7 is Nigeria. H11 is Ghana. 
so the next thing we want to do is to fill up this space with zeros so once we are done with that we we'll copy all then we we'll open another notepad then we we'll paste it there once we do this we backspace then we we'll put comma back comma backspace comma in front of the apple type put comma 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 put comma 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 put comma 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 then in front of each of the numbers we press tab 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 and tab so once you've done this you save our file you can save our file as treats then we'll save it. We'll note again we are saving on the desktop. So once we are done with this, we can largely close our file. And we open the pop art. So we import our alignments, which will be the so once you select imports, is to bring this option. Then you select all files. The file you have to select is the Apple Type Data file. Select that. It will bring this option. Select OK. Then you come to this import. You import the traits. Simply select traits. Clear data. Clear alignment data. No. Simply press OK. So once you have this. You build your network so largely this is the network you can use different algorithm to build the network i pressed i initially used ccs i can use um, some other algorithm to build it depending on my targets so you can also design for that by using any of the design that you desire so this apple type distribution can also be viewed on map by coming to view you view it on map as it, as you know this is nigeria this is kenya and this is ghana so you can actually use this to give a better description of description of your sample location as well so you can go back to view the apple type network then you can you can change the background to white change the background to white if you want to copy the image then you save the you export the graphics you can prefer to use any let's use png you can save it as image and set c so once you do that your file has been saved you can come to your desktop to view it taking time and that's it largely that is all about building a prototype if you have any Feel free to leave a comment section and I will be quite ready to give a response. Thank you.